Hello and welcome to my Let's Play on Mass Effect 2, the Legendary Edition. I'm so fucking excited for this. So yesterday I finally finished off my playthrough of Mass Effect 1, which I started somewhere in 2022. And then I was actually surprisingly close to finishing off the game when I took another hiatus from YouTube. I, I, again, not really something I have a lot of control over these days, but right now I'm very much in the mood to record a lot of Mass Effect, uh, and I've been specifically looking forward to playing Mass Effect 2. So here we are. Um, obviously going to be continuing on my playthrough from Mass Effect 1, so we load in our character and all that, or import our character, so that's all going to be fun. Um, one thing that I actually uh, had read on and talked about in my Mass Effect 1 Let's Play towards the end is uh, there used to be like, a, a, like an achievement, if you had like a, a million credits, you would get a hundred thousand bonus in this game and i wasn't entirely sure how that worked with the legendary edition because i read it was some it was different somehow i now know how it works it's um you get up to 10 percent or you get 10 percent of your credits up to a hundred thousand so we had at the end well we had infinite money but then we bought some shit for fun um but we had way more than a million so we're just going to get up to a hundred thousand which is kind of nice um, as for the leveling bonuses you get, I um, so I was level 28, but it was somehow converted to level 55. Um, I had a look at this earlier. You'll see it in a minute when I start a new game. Um, but yeah, converted to level 55, which means we get the second best bonuses. The best bonuses you get for being level 60, which is max level, or level 30, I guess, if you're if we were playing um, uh, with the other levels, which we were. Um, we get the second best bonuses, so we get, I think, 30k credits extra, and some. we start on a higher level, like two levels higher or something. We get some resources for the, the stuff that we need for later in the game. Uh, and we get, we get, we got, I think we get some Paragon stuff as well, but that had to do with the Paragon meter. So we get a bunch of Paragon points to start off with. But basically, yeah, we're just, we're good old, same fella. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's just get into it, I, I suppose. So we're going to import our Mass Effect 1 character. Here he is, Mark Shepard, level 55. That one, please. All right. Uh, I'm going to be playing on veteran difficulty just like I played the other one. No auto level up because I'm going to do that myself. We have subtitles on, squad power usage on, so our squad members will just use their powers whenever they feel like, uh, and auto save on. This is just to make my life a little bit easier. Let's do it. Oh, we got some information. Right, so our name, Mark Shepard, our rank is 55, our military specialization is adept. I think we can actually choose this to be different in this game, but I'm definitely going adept in this game because the this is where Adap became super fun in Mass Effect 2 and 3. Psychological profile, we were hella paragon. Uh, our, the status of Rex, he survived the mission on Vermeer. Ashley w Williams was killed on Vermeer. It says missing in action, but really it should be killed in action in that case. Uh, the council was saved by Commander Shepard during the attack on the Citadel. We're such good guys. And then we chose Captain Anderson for a seat on the council. And then there's a whole bunch of minor stuff that would have impacted the game from Mass Effect 1 as well, but it doesn't display it here. These are all the major choices that we made. Let's do it. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. 
One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, the Galactic Community struggles to rebuild. The Alliance fleet made a tremendous sacrifice to save the Citadel Council and earned humanity membership in their prestigious group. Now the Council is forced to respond to evidence of the Reaper's enormous machines that eradicate all organic civilization after 50 years, after 50 years of return. With all the rumors, the Council has sent Commander Shepard on the... Okay. Just couldn't keep up. Keep up. Just have to read it for yourself, I'm afraid. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly- It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Presley! Ugh. Kinetic barriers down! Multiple hull breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! Why am I bald? Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? They'll be here. The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttle. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. I'm not leaving either. Yes, you fucking are. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Shepard. Liara, go. Now. Aye, aye. Liara, go. Later. Everybody in! Go, go, go! Get to the Joker in the cockpit in the upper deck Mayday, of the Normandy. Mayday, Mayday! This is SSV Normandy! We've suffered heavy damage from an unknown enemy! I'm on my way, Joker! Heavy fucking breathing right now. Joker, I'm here. How are you doing, Joker? Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Don't throw your life away, you stupid idiot. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. Very easily convinced. They're coming around for another attack! Ah, watch the 
I mean, Presley and like some other minor characters are sort of dead. I don't really remember. Well, so are we. Thanks for watching uh, Mass Effect 2, guys. See you on Mass Effect 3. It was great. Good game. Sick cutscene. Really good. Looking forward to the next game. End credits start playing. You failed. There you go. That's it. That was Mass Effect 2. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Oh. Mass, Effect, Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comic that summarizes the events of Mass Effect 1. Would you like to review the story so far? Uh, sure. I very much doubt that anyone's going to randomly jump into this Let's Play without watching the first one. But I wouldn't mind just having a little revision of all the choices I've made, especially since for me it's been quite a while as well. I mean, not for the last bit, but definitely for the earlier stuff from 2022, when I started the campaign. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission, answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit Just the like ground with dick. my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, a soldier to the core, tough, disciplined, racist, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it, the ship, like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long-dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Caden's Every gigantic muscle dick. in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite Spectres could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus. Another Turian wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, 
The biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's Ew. evidence proved that Saren was bath, responsible Saren. for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. Now my fuck and toy. like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Liara about how I felt. Apparently, she'd felt it too. The quality of the comics but is uh, getting worse. Like What's going on here? Mission. Finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the Queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed, violently. Rex wanted the Genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real, but he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. 
We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend. And a great soldier. And a racist. But I had to choose. And I chose Caden. That was the last time Sarah because he wasn't a racist. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Ash's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we'd put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. <laughs> Which wasn't very long. We arrived on Ilos I had that sex for Saren. many, many years. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean data bank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago. And every 50,000 years before that. Each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space. Bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running. And I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. Still not 100% sure the about that choice, over. but the Anderson's definitely passed. a better guy. In time, the council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. 
Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Aha, uh -huh, it's all coming back around. That's cool. I'm pretty sure that's an addition to Legendary Edition because I don't remember seeing that in the past. I could be wrong, but I'm, I, yeah, I don't think I remember seeing that before. Commander Shepard has been recovered. Oh my god, Mass Effect 2 isn't done the yet. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. We can rebuild him. He's been brain dead for weeks. We can do it. Hey, there it is. There's my little, uh, little imported face boy. Oh, why does he look like he's <laughs> mentally unstable? Why his eye, one eye looks like bigger than the other one? Like, I, well, I was forming it with my face, but um, obviously you guys can't see that. But he, he looks, he looks deranged. Look at him. <laughs> what am I doing here? This is just a, a calm, collected man. <laughs> Who are you? Ooh, ooh. Who are you? Who, who, who am I? Hey, it's me, Mark Shepard. All right, so uh, anyway, we're choosing me. All right, so we can choose our class. I'm definitely going adept because I am very adept at choosing a class. Uh, no, yeah, because um, Mass Effect 2 is where combat really becomes awesome and adept is just so fucking cool. Uh, the main thing about this is that, well, I think we can use all weapons, similar to how Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition was. Actually, in the base game of, of Mass Effect 1, you couldn't use all, well, you could use all weapons, but if you had, like, if you weren't adept with a sniper, get it, adept, um, then you would not be able to zoom in, for example. But in the Legendary Edition, they changed that. But yeah, in this game, I don't remember exactly, but I do remember always using heavy pistol or submachine gun, which I'm... I feel means that I either like the other weapons just aren't as good because you're not good at them or you simply can't use them. I don't really remember. Either way, adapts are outfitted with L5X implants that can spawn a micro singularity, damaging enemies and pulling them into the air. Sweet power training, singularity, warp throw, pull, and shockwave. Oh, yeah, that's, an, that's another one. Uh, weapon training, heavy pistol, submachine gun. Adapts are biotic specialists capable of disabling and killing enemies with raw biotic power. While they lack advanced combat training, they are the best at defeating enemies without firing a shot. Oh, that's good. That's lovely stuff, that is. And then, uh, yeah, we have all the, uh, like, half and half classes as well. These are all heavy pistol, submachine gun, heavy pistol, submachine gun. Sang Vanguard, shotgun, heavy pistol, submachine gun. Oh, that's it, actually. It's just shotgun extra. The soldier has everything. Assault rifle, shotgun, sniper rifle, heavy pistol. No submachine gun, though, for some reason. Anyway, adapt. Mark Shepard, we were a spacer. Our reputation is war hero. Adept. Done. Let's go. I'm confirming it. There, on the monitor. Something's wrong. It's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson. He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Sedative. Shepard. Don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Wake up, Commander. 
I love the actress that plays Miranda, by the way. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out scarred all over the, the fucking place. Is this a drill? Yeah, she, uh... She played a major character in the show Chuck, and I was watching Chuck around the time this came out. Fucking... Oh, I've got armor and everything. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Oh, get fuck. Get Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Alright, I mean, it's over there, but I just want to have a look around. Got it. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Any enemies or look out. Get out. Keep moving, we need to get to the shuttles. I thought I missed the first like twenty six shots. Okay. And so it's, it's coming back to me a little bit this game. Who's Shepard, looking to die? Oh. In on your Take <laughs> yeah, there's uh, definitely a lot more. Um, oh. <clears throat> oh my god, hello? There's definitely a lot more recoil in this. <clears throat> oh yeah, you can shoot off their arms and then they can't. That's so funny. I forgot about that. Ghost is clip. Um, yeah, so there's recoil on shit in this as well, because the, it's not energy-based weaponry, I guess. It's kind of cool. Okay, I'm guessing we're going this way, but... Ammo... Right, 60 is the... well, 12 and 60 is the max, so that's good to know. It's correct that I have no abilities, right? Who's that? Who's that over there? I do have abilities. I have Singularity and Warp. What the fuck? Get them on my thing. Uh... I don't remember exactly how I got it. I've, I've set it up all the same as before, but I don't remember exactly if this, these are the right way around, but it's fine. Oh, Jesus. Well, they're going to fucking die. Don't waste time. I can't keep the oh, sorry. Sorry. Long. Jeez. More fucking Here grenade the launcher. Use the grenade launcher to take okay. All right. All right. Them out. If you say so. They've seen it. They're <laughs> fucked. How did he survive? Uh, I can test my ability. Oh, that's not that's not enough, is it? Oh! Oh, did he just... Elevator down one floor. Is the, In this game, hold on, I need to check this. Yes, it's a shared cooldown. I forgot about that. I did not remember that, but that means cooldowns are short. Hurry! Get to the door! Run! Uh... Sucks for you. Bye, bitch. Sorry. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject. You're so much better than Ashley, Miranda. Initial results show promise. Your mom shows promise. How many data pads are here? Is a wall safe? Oh, money. Mark update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over 4 billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Which data logs are... Yeah, I guess these ones. It kept saying excess data logs, so I was like, which ones? I was like, which fucking ones, my dude? Hey, how's it going, my guy? Uh, there's someone behind you. Just uh. Oh my God. Jesus. Log update. I can't figure Miranda out. As project director, she should be ecstatic at all the progress we've made, but she's still the same old ice queen. Maybe she's worried Shepard might become the new favorite, or maybe she is just a pure cold-hearted bitch. Yeah, the other one disappears when you use it. Uh, speaking of, oh, I, I think I have level ups available. Oh, jeez, I have. 
Okay, so warp. Oh, I remember. You have to actually level up these things to unlock a pool or something. So I need level two of this, level two of that, and then I can get throw and pool. Which I can actually do right now, because like this costs two point, this costs two point, this costs one and one. That's six. <gasps> that's pretty cool. Um, I'm so fucking, I'm so fucking excited to play this game. Sorry, uh, I'm level four. So that's the like little bonus that you get from uh, being level 55 or you know, between 50 and 59. Uh, we have this part of Paragon, so the first bar is halfway filled up from being um, having that shit. Being from from having played the previous game. Anyway, so warp. I want to have a little look at this. So, oh, you have. I I think I remember this. When you get to certain points, you can split and you can choose a different, like. Uh, I'm so fucking excited. I'm just, I'm so excited right now. I feel like you can probably f hear, but. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so right now it's a recharge time of six seconds. Does 120 damage. Detonation radius is three meters, and it has a detonation force of 400 newtons. The mass effect field damages. Enemy targets and stops health regeneration, detonates any biotic powers already affecting the target, such as pool or singularity. I, I, I don't even remember about that. That's awesome. Causing further damage effective against armor and biotic barriers. Singularity, right now, launch a dark energy sphere to create an intense mass effect field. Enemies are drawn into the singularity and held uh, briefly helpless. Recharge time is 4.5 seconds. Singul that's really short. Singularity was a really strong spell in one. Maybe it's weaker in this one. It's so the last 20 seconds, that's insane. Impact radius 1.25 meters, hold duration is 5 seconds, and the number of targets is 2. If we upgrade it, it's... Oh, it becomes so much better already. Alright, well, we're gonna purchase that rank, which unlocks pool. Is it at... Yeah, when it's max level, you choose a different, like, thing. Uh, so cool! Okay, so this one just gets better as well. And then we definitely want throw. Uh, recharge time, 3 seconds. Yeah, we use this all the fucking time. Uh, using mass effect fields, hurls targets away and damages them if they help hit objects. And then pool, uh, levitates the target, three and five. So this is the combo that I've been waiting for since I started mass effect one. You pull an enemy up and, he, and you can you can aim it in certain ways because in this game you can actually arc stuff around walls and shit. So you can pull an enemy into a certain way and then like make the throw curve around and launch him into the fucking air and you can literally throw him off maps and shit and oh my god I'm so fucking excited. I wasn't going to use my level up right away, but yeah, hell yeah, I'm doing it. My prologue escape facility. Okay, alarm's going off fucking wild in the background. So let's, um, let's see, we got fruit. Oh, it's already on there. Okay, well, that's Unity. Uh, Unity, we actually don't need on the bar, but I guess for now, I'll just put it over there. Um, so pull, I think, is this one, and then push would be, or throw would be the other one. So that would be, uh, this would be pull, I think. And then the, no, it's the other way around. Okay, so I need to move around. So now, pull and throw. Yeah, okay. And then singularity is this one. Yeah, and then the other one's warp. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Incoming! Incoming! Shepard, what the hell? Hey, I'm here. Target down! Damn it, I was gonna do my combo, yeah. you piece of shit. Oh, I was on yeah, whatever. What are you doing here? I thought you were still. Oh, it's Jacob, progress. our first teammate. I forgot about him. Uh, who the fuck are you? Are you with Miranda? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot this is all new to you right now. <laughs> Full flesh conversation Jacob while getting shot. I've been stationed here for. Hostiles detected. Damn it! Nice one. Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Uh, just a few questions. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. Two You've years. been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Damn. Uh, where's here? This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Where about my crew? Are there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. <laughs> We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Oh, I've said it to you. can do it whenever you want. Oh, we can combo shit off each other. 
Okay, pull this one up. On target. And then... No, stop killing the ones I'm trying to fucking push away, you piece of shit. Just give the order and I'll hit him with a biotic power. Just do it whenever you feel like, man. I'm not gonna fucking... What are you around? Good gun! Oh, he's single... Yeah, he's doing it anyway. Man, that is taking longer than I expected it to, or than I remember it doing. Man, it's not really always... I need to make sure that the reticles around them. Let me know when you want my biotics. Oh, is this a fuck? Okay, sorry. This is a um, I have to tell him what to do. <laughs> situation. Uh, move your mouse over to pool power. Yeah, which one? This is mine, right? This this is my shit. Oh, this one, right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, pull this guy up. That's it. And then I'll throw him away. There you go. There's the combo. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? All right, tell me literally fucking out. Who the fuck are you? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally, I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. Tell me about Miranda. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? She... was... assaulted. There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. Well, how was I injured? You or... said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting-edge technology. Tell me more. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Yeah, how are my muscles working? Because they'd be... Well, I guess maybe with the cutting as technology, it's all explained. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Great success! Two years. All the top scientists. Best technology money could buy. Tell me about crew. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower oh, decks didn't Presley get out. Did the hunt. Navigator Presley was killed. Oh, by he was an a explosion. racist too. So fuck him. Everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Oh, thank the Lord. Bring me to them. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. I do want to find they them. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Alright, and finally, I'd like you to tell me about the attack on the station. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting. At us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Alright, let's get the fuck out What's of here. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson. This is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this <laughs> I way. I call the screaming in the background. It's fucking great. Alright, give me this ammo because I just used them all. Oh, that's a lot of ammo you got for that. Update. The Lazarus Project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years, but we did it. I'm actually... 
I was gonna keep playing or not. Uh, I'm gonna. I need to. I need to lower my. I set it to the same. I set all the settings the exact same as Mass Effect One since I figured Legendary Edition is going to be the same. But mouse sensitivity is hella high. In fact, I might be a little bit lower than that. Yeah, that's. I mean, honestly, honestly, if you ask my honest opinion, honestly, I think I'll just put it down a little bit more. Fifteen. Don't change a thing. Done. Boom. Ugh, no, that's that's too that's too slow. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's gonna have to be 17, I guess. God, I hate that. I, I don't like be using odd numbers, but fuck. Why does that feel so far? Why is that such a massive difference? 16 has got to be the sweet spot right there. Ugh, 16 then. Never felt like one percent was gonna make such a difference, but how is this so much slower? Legit, it feels slower, but I think I think I'm gonna I'll get used to this sooner than I will to the fast shit. Uh, right, and then we have a level up, because this fella's got level ups. Right. You only have four things. That's weird. You, you're kind of you're a weird dude, Jacob. Incendiary ammo burns through armor, sets enemies on fire, damages health. Makes sense. Burns and wounds organic targets, blocking health, regeneration, damaging armor, and making unshielded enemies panic. Synthetic enemies are more resistant to damage. Fire damage. Recharge time very quick. Holy shit. Last until overridden by another ammo power. Fire damage 20% of weapon damage over 3 seconds. Server's operative, boost Jacob combat skills, health and weapon damage, all pretty good. And then barrier, which unlocks at level two, I assume. Is it? Uh, oh, he's not. He's not loyal yet. Right, that's the loyalty missions. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. So I think, just um. Wow, pool was a nine-second cooldown. Sheesh. Wait, is pool not the ability that I was thinking of? No, it's not. That's why my cool. Oh, but my cool only three seconds. His is nine. So it is. It is what. It is the one I was thinking of. I don't know why his is so fucking shit though. Nine seconds, dude. You suck. Um. Right. So I think we're gonna do this and and this and and then we'll do this in the area of it too because pools is kind of shit for him. There you go. Good, good, there you go, buddy. Enjoy that. Alright, let's get a fucking move on. I've, I've put the abilities Following. on the same thing as well, so I should be able to order him specifically. Stay close. Back, make him go attack mode, although there's nothing to attack. Right so. with you. Yeah. I think I've got, I've got everything basically set up the exact same way as I did in Mass Effect 1. Ooh, scary... Scary lightning. Sensors activated. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. Yeah, I need to, uh, I need to make sure I actually hit, hit someone shields before down. I use an ability. Damn, I, my, I lost my shields pretty quickly there. That is actually so much better, just pulling. I want to do my combo. Oh no. Wilson, where are you? Server room B! Hurry! They're out of control! Up those stairs, Shep. Shep. Yeah, I need to do push more than, uh, or throw. Wait, 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 wait. There's some stuff over here, yeah. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental. So the, the combo functions. against these guys is useless. So I just do push right now. Throw, sorry. Make Commander Shepard who he was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter his identity in any way, if he's somehow not the. Man oh, it actually stays in the. What the? the Lazarus project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. I assumed it would go through, but clearly not. I know there's a guy under attack right now, but. Uh, Shepard, down here. Got shit to do. Bastards got me in the leg. <laughs> I didn't, this is not the time. To, I remember you, Wilson. Let's get you out of here. We need to get off this station. I'm not going anywhere till someone fixes my leg. Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully, there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. That's what Jacob just said. I don't listen to you, Wilson. You sound like a bitch, like a piece of shit, like a pussy, pussy -o. Uh, tab, why would I need to do that? Move your mouse over. I mean, I have Unity right here, right? This is Unity, yeah. Fuck you. I'm doing it like this. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. 
guess that makes us even now. <laughs> Two years of work, and I, I do maybe one I thing. Could makes shut down the security mix. But whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I do trust Jacob. You're he all sounds like a cool me. dude. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. D-Wing? There's no way she survived. She was getting some D-Wing. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Sounds like you're the traitor, my guy. Miranda's played by a fairly well-known actress, so they must have paid a lot of money to get her, which means she won't be dead yet. But she tried to help me. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor, but that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. And he's dead. We can overload the canisters oh, to clear back to the shuttles. Grab these one. Yeah. Wait. Oh, whoa, whoa, I don't want to shoot that one. He's next to it. Oh, we got him. All right, good good job, guys. Uh, use overload on the crates. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Can you do overload on that, please? Thank you. I feel like I could have just Let's shot it, though. Here. I mean, he was sitting right next to it. That was a okay, that we took bad him down, for him. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. No. Not Cerberus. I, I have heard of them. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too, but right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Thanks, brother. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. You promise? I'll never work for Cerberus! Who's the elusive man? The elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Really? Thanks, Nobody Wilson. Who he really Great is. input. It was a code name. The his name isn't the elusive man. Kind of stuck. Wow, that's that's incredible. His birth certificate does not say the elusive man. Wow, Wilson, well, what a bright mind you are. I don't care what they did or what you say. I'm not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss, but after we've saved our butts, we're almost at the shuttle. Tell it to the boss. Who wants to die? What the? What's all the shit that I'm recovering? What the heck was that? Also, what's what was this? Oh, is that that was the credits I was getting. I don't know why I was getting all the metagel though. It seemed a bit random. Systems active. Yeah. Any more? Subdue and suppress. So do your suppress your ass. You piece of shit. Fucking hell, I got robbed. Oh fuck, I need a singularity. Oh, I'm actually dying over here. You're done! Fuck it, yes we are. That's what we need. Okay, good job, guys. Good job. Well done, everyone. Right, I want to actually have a look. I don't know... Is there, is there an inventory in this game? See, I think that's something they kind of took out in this, right? Like, there's no armor switching or anything. At least there's no... Well, there's weapon switching, but you can just do it in the actual thing. Also, squad isn't disabled for some reason right now. Yeah, I think armor and stuff is not as important as it was in the other game. 
Oh shit, how does it work again? Highlight individual nodes to find matching symbols. When you found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all circuits before you run out of time to bypass security. Fuck, I don't remember. Is it memory? Memory. Kind of. Huh. Oh, is this the money that goes down? So the quicker you do, the more money you get. I think I remember that. The test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. All right, Miranda. Miranda, Miranda, Miranda. Okay, that would have been the other way I went up. That'll be the door. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Uh -oh. Miranda. Oh, it's her. But you were... Oh my god. Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Damn. Oh man. I put my gun on her. She doesn't... She's not even bothered about it, though. What if I just never choose anything? I just stand here. An inter eternal standoff. It's not even a Mexican standoff. It's just me holding a gun to her head. But anyway... Um, that your idea of due process? Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learnt that by now, Jacob. Jakob. Um, no, you can't question him. Okay, what happens now? If you say so. What's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know Is you that his real name? Ah, Jacob. Wilson said it wasn't, I but have known your I didn't believe him. Get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Yes, I do have a list of questions, actually. Here we go. Let's uh, start with your location during the attack. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you, and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon, if you ask Wilson. That's funny. Anyone else survive? What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Some ought to survive. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's oh. right. We all knew the risks when we Thank signed you. up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Alright, where are we going? Well, we already know that. To the fucking elusive man, but whatever. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. He's very elusive. What if he's not there because he's so elusive? Actually, that's evasive, isn't it? Is it elusive also not? Yeah, whatever. Uh, what if I don't want to come? I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guess. <laughs> but you wouldn't, though, because I'm the only person you need to say. Like, there's no way you would do that. Anyway, uh, tell me about the Lazarus Project. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. I'll put two inches of my dick in you. Sorry. <laughs> what? What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Obviously. All right, uh, enough chit chat. Shall we go? I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. <laughs> Come on. Shoot her in the back of the head. I was about to say that shuttle sucks dick, but then it took off, so. Not as bad as I thought. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Isn't this... Is this not where you would normally... Like, if you didn't choose a character that you already established from Mass Effect 1, you would actually choose how... Like, you would 
choose the choices that you would otherwise make in Mass Effect 1. Like, is the council alive or something? You can say, no, they're not. And then it's, it's as if you let them die, basically. Anyway, uh, two years? Did you say two years? I already know that. that <laughs> Jacob told me before. Two years and 12 days. Oh, thanks. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. Not a you question. enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? <laughs> the answer is yes and no. Yes, I remember, even if I don't. Every question, yeah, yeah, I remember that. A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. One question. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? She was a fucking racist. I'll tell you the truth, Jacob. You wouldn't have liked her. I'll tell you that much. It was a hard choice. I left a friend to die that day, it and really I didn't wasn't. do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand. Caden was so much cooler. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Better. Piece of shit. Alright, talk to the elusive man. Go speak to the elusive man. The elusive man, man is waiting for you in the other room. Yeah, I'm sure he fucking is. Just give me a goddamn second. What was that? There was something about being Paragon. Did I get Paragon points? Am I more Paragon than before? Uh... Oh, I can't really tell the difference, but... Anyway, uh, I think this is a, a good place to end off this first episode. Oh, there's my... I already have the bonus, so we're on 153,500, so... I'm pretty sure 30,000... Oh, I don't... On 9,000 resources. I'm not entirely sure how that works, because I know you get 5k for being level 55, basically. You get 30k credits. It must have been more than... I got... I don't know exactly how many credits I got during all that just now, but I know I got a 2400 in there somewhere. I think it was, and I think I got another... Was it 1100? That would, that would explain 3500, which means I got 50,000, which means maybe I did get bigger bonuses than I thought I would. But it's not what it said I was going to get. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, that's going to be it for now, though. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next time, we're going to examine the door behind us for some reason. Um, until then, have a very good day, and goodbye.